In this video, we are going to talk about force engine image mathematical operations. In the previous videos, uh, we already talked about how to uh, add force engine image to the map, and we also uh, talk about how to visualize uh, image. But um, one of the biggest advantages about Google's engine is that it can do cloud computing. So uh, this is mathematical op operation is. Uh, one of the basic forms of uh, cloud computing so you can use that to do some computation about the image to extract some information uh, from the image okay so uh, first of all we need to download the notebook example you can go to tutorials.gmap.org and uh, the link is also in the dis uh, description below once you are on the website then you can click uh, the image max uh, operations and then upper right corner click the download button to download this uh, noble example to uh, our computer so i'm going to put this one under my uh, G, uh, documents uh, gmap folder and then just hit save uh, it should be saved to your computer and then we can open anaconda prompt if you're using mac you just use the terminal uh, and then just type uh, conda so you should be able to open the anaconda prompt then we are going to activate the conda environment so uh, in the previous video we already create the uh, ge uh, environment so we conda activate ge then just type jupyter notebook hit enter it should open uh, jupyter notebook uh, within the browser then you can navigate to the folder um, documents ge then you can open the notebook so this is a noble example we're going to use uh, in this uh, video and so everything about mathematical operation is uh, something uh, very basic about OS engine computation so think about mathematical operation when we do for example some basic uh, add minus uh, multiply or divide so those kind of things it is uh, you can do using Google's engine just using one line of code and it doesn't matter how big is your image uh, it can be a small scale just covering a small area it can also be in a continental scale or a global scale so the scale doesn't really matter also the spatial resolution um, does not really matter you can apply to any image so uh first let's execute uh, to import the library and then we can create the map but we don't um, want to display the map yet this one basically authenticate our uh, os engine and once we have that we can do some um, uh, basic uh, operations so in this example we're going to use for example normalized difference uh, vegetation index so if you are um, uh, familiar with the uh, remote sensing uh, it's one of the most popular um, normalized difference uh, index uh, used uh, uh, around the globe so very simple this is basically um, first developed using uh, based on lens set data so lens set has multi-spectral bands so from uh, uh, blue green rate and near infrared also a uh, short wave uh, infrared but normalized difference uh, vegetation index is calculated by um, the near infrared band minus the red band divided by the near infrared and then plus the red band so if it is vegetation you're supposed to get a positive uh, uh, ndvi values uh, if it is non-vegetation usually you get negative so this is how you can actually extract vegetation from um, a remote sensing image and this is the uh, simplest one it might not work in most uh, in all cases but uh, it's pretty effective so we are going to use this example uh, lens set data and this is a five year composite from 1999 to 2003 so the, again this one is the image id and so you just need to wrap this uh, string this unique id then ee to image right so then it becomes a server side object and so this image then we can use that for do, doing computation so because it's a multi-spectral band and it contains b1 all the way to b7 and b4 is uh, corresponds to a near infrared band and b3 uh, is red band so b2 and b1 are, are green and blue bands uh, respectively so once we select these uh, two bands we assign them to a variable and then we can use that to do computation so look at this equation here near infrared minus red okay so if you see this one here near infrared this is the variable this is right now an image okay so you can apply something some operation to an image so basically image dot something 
um if you are not familiar you can go to the uh os engine uh let me take a look at here os engine google.com you can go to your uh for example documentation and then just click a uh, reference then click a uh, client libraries uh, and then goes to the list so e to image so this is an os um engine object you can apply all kind of methods to that um uh, object if we come back to this one here uh subtract right so you subtract basically is minus if you can you can scroll down you can take a look where is that function so subtract uh should be somewhere r uh is right so it's in here so you can apply a subtract function to an image and then so first image minus the second one so you put inside the parentheses this is exactly the same in here what we are doing right so the first near infrared band subtract the red band and then the result right so we get the um, numerator the numerator then divided by uh, the denominator so the denominator would be uh, nir plus red right so this one add and red so this is basically the equation uh, of this one and once you get the result then we can visualize the result so uh, in the previous uh, tutorial we already talked about how to visualize so you need you can pass in a minimum value maximum value and also a palette so a palette basically is a, a color ramp right so from the minimum to the maximum it's going to automatically do linear uh, stretch so they can give you a color then we add the result right so this is the result this is how we want to visualize and this is the name of the layer all you need just uh, shift enter and execute you should be able to see the results so pretty nice right uh, think about here this is a global scale image if you're trying to download this one to your computer uh, it's going to be many many gigabyte and the nice thing about google's engine is that you don't have to download any data you just need to know uh, what data do you want and what kind of a computation do you want to do with that image uh, and then you just need a few lines of code you should be able to get the result uh, almost instantly you can use the layer control here uh, to take a look at the uh, turn the layer on and off right so this is the ndvi 1999 uh, basically it's the uh, average uh, ndvi but uh, you can use this equation to do the calculation there's also a shortcut called normalized difference normalized difference and then you passing uh, two um, bands inside the list is going to be use this one minus this one divided uh, by the sum so you can certainly come back to here you can take a look for example uh, e dot image normalized difference okay so this is the function and then you can pass in the name of the uh, the list in here uh, you can also use the other one so it's pretty nice um just one line of code you can do the computation and you can also change to any other image for example you can apply to other image and everything else uh, remain the same so if you're using traditional remote sensing software you might need to load the image and then do the computation run it again and then visualize uh, the nice thing about coding is that uh, you just need to modify a small piece of your source code and other source code can remain the same without having to change anything so you can still get the results and uh, so this is the basic uh, mathematical operation you can do uh, just uh, uh, add or subtract uh, divide you can also multiply those common mathematical operators you can apply to those engine image um, very uh, easily <laughs> okay so this is the first example that uh, you can do using um, mathematical operations but there are some additional things you can do in the first example we only use one image and we only use two bands right but sometimes you might want to do computation using multiple images so as an example this is the lens set 99 we want to do some change detection we want to find out some changes uh, between for example 1999 to 2008 right so there's another one here um uh five year composite uh 2008 right so if you 2008 minus uh, 1999 you get the difference and then use the difference keep that in mind here uh, lens set 8 here this one has um uh, let me take a look how many bands do we have okay if you don't if you don't know you can just uh here uh, go back to the the variable and you can just 
use this one dot uh, bank names um, and then parentheses again you don't use this uh, you is still a server side object so you want to be able to see the content inside you need to use dot get uh, info and then shift enter you should be able to see the result so this image actually contains uh, uh, seven bands and the b6 uh, is slightly different from other bands um, and so if we do the subtraction of uh, this length set 208 minus uh, 1999 it's going to b1 minus b1 b2 minus b2 uh, so basically corresponding the uh, the bands of each image in that way the final result will still be seven bands okay so they're just to keep that in mind so the difference in here this one is like one band minus the other one band so one by one use the result you can also do, do additional computation of the result so for example this is just a simple uh, subtraction but you can also do the square for example based on the subtraction uh, you might get positive you might get negative if you do a square a power of two then it becomes all positive so basically absolute uh, difference and also square so in that way you can basically uh, 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 highlight the difference let's execute and take a look at the results right so if i turn the layer on and off so this is the vegetation uh, and so right now this is the subsection so 19 uh, 2008 minus 1999 so it's just the difference you also get the square uh, so these are the square that means when the they become positive if you want to see uh, the, the the value you can also use the inspector tool so <coughs> click and then click your mouse on the map it should be able to see the difference right so again uh, the difference image has seven bands right b1 to b7 the square difference also has seven bands but it's the square of this value so negative one uh, the square will be one also here negative two uh, the square will be two lastly uh, b7 uh, is uh, 3 and the square will be 9 right so you can click that on any location at any location to get the uh, the values okay so this is another like uh, uh, a mathematical operation based on two images right the first example is based on one image but you have different bands the second example is that you use multiple images and then you do the subtraction so this is also something you can do using uh, um, google's engine this is the most basic operations that you can do uh, with post engine image lastly uh, this is another example we can also use uh, expression uh, if you see for example this uh, create this map and then take a look in here <coughs> this is right now a single image a lens set uh, 8 um, top of atmosphere product and this is the uh, unique id this one is the equation so in this example we're going to calculate the so-called enhanced vegetation index uh, as something similar to the uh, vegetation index but it has a different uh, equation so if you see from this one here the equation is um, 2.5 multiplied by the uh, near infrared minus rate and then divided by uh, this equation uh, this one also involves the blue band this is just basically think about this as mathematical operation but we need to let those engine know like what each um character here represent what right so because this is just basically a variable uh in mathematical operation for example x plus y equals something but you need to know what's the black value of x in order to get the results all right and then r rate and blue so the first part of within the uh, parentheses is the equation and the second part basically is a dictionary telling uh, earth engine what each character represent right so nir uh, it comes from the image b5 so band 5 and then the red band is b4 doc select means you have an image you have multiple bands but you select based on the name of the band and then you assign this one the basic indication so in leg where us engine know like okay 2.5 multiplied by this one so when it's getting here it will get this image and similarly when it's red band it will grab this one and then it can do the computation so it's pixel by pixel and once you get the result um you can display the result right so the first one here is the original image uh and then you can do the vegetation index 
and you can compare the difference you can turn the layer right look at this one this is the original image uh, it's pretty dark but if you want to uh, visualize that you can also change the settings so for example you can click here and let me move it here a little bit you this is most likely uh, because of the let's take a look at the value pixel values right so it's uh, 0 to 300 something like that but you also have some values like very very low so in this case you might want to have um, because this is from 0 to 1 right so you can maybe change this one to let's say 0.3 and then we can also change the maybe the gamma so the gamma you want to be higher because right now it's a bit uh, dark so we can uh, maybe 432 uh, you'll be the same as this one. Oh no 432 because length set 8 we need a 543 so 543 is a uh, post color composite so right so now you see that this is a lot uh, better compared to the settings in here uh, it's very very dark right and you can close this one or close this one now you can take a look at for example the uh enhanced vegetation index right so the green color represent vegetation so if we want to uh, extract vegetation uh, we can just use a threshold so uh, we will talk about that in the next uh, video okay so uh this is a simple video showing you how to do some basic mathematical operation using a uh, google's engine and so you can basically load any image as long as the image has some pixel values you can do computation using that image uh, if it has multi bands you can do computation between the bands uh, if it is some um, if you have multiple images you can also do computation uh, for all the images and you just need to write a few lines of code and you can access the data so in the future, I will also talk about how to export the data. But for now, uh, you, you just simply need to know how to do the computation and uh, display the results. Okay, so uh, that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care.